Anyway. And it's about that time. It is it about, is that, about time. that time. So, without further ado, hello everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to Two Nerds One Quest. I am your host and DM JC Dittmer here with these four nerds because we are all here. I am surprising Norm for once. <laughs> I done it. See, you don't get to surprise me when we don't have music. <laughs> I know. It's kind of disappointing. I need to get that fixed. Yeah. Well, I have the music. You just need to put it in its place. You tell it where to be. You beat me to the joke. <laughs> Son of a bitch. How you doing this morning? I'm good. I'm good. I'm here. That's... Some, something about living in a beer bottle under a table last night. <laughs> oh, it was. We had a birthday party for a friend's dad. We went to... Huh? You ever been to Rivers Bend? Yeah. It's good. It is. It's, it's very my good. official statement. It's good. Yeah. The mm -hmm. Wisconsin Supper Club. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yes. there, there are certain ones you just walk in and go, yep, this is a Wisconsin Supper Club. Yeah. The nice, big, <laughs> weird shaped bar that's in the middle of the room and the yeah. chairs are. Actually, the bar chairs, John, the bar chairs are fantastic. They're kind of like, uh, they're on, like on, on springs. And so you, but they're kind of big and comfy, so you can kind of swing. It's kind of like Ooh. one of those things that you sit in at the playground where it. So your ADD was kicking in as well. Mm. <laughs> oh, and that other man, Sharon, in. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, dang, I can't make that line because two of you are in Packer gear besides me. The man with the Packer polka dots <laughs> and the fedora is one Ryan Crix is cooked up playing Lady Sill this morning. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing fantastic, and as a matter of fact, uh, I don't mind that it's raining outside because I wasn't planning on moving more than five feet away from the television all freaking day. Welcome to football, bitches. Hell yeah. I'm going to, at some point, I will switch from coffee to soda, but I'm going to switch from this chair to my couch. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then I'll only get up to go to the bathroom and make the bread and beef stew I'm making for the game. So, But other than that... Yeah, it is. I mean, a rainy day, some beef stew, some homemade bread, and football. It is fall, folks. I love it. Yeah, that other man, that other man, sharing in the Packers uh, gear is one Rick Lefave, the plane delayed <laughs> friend of mine. <laughs> Got stuck in Minnesota. Juicy was, Juicy was just joking. <laughs> he sent that message. He's like, "What? Your plane gets delayed or something?" You came back with, "Yep." And I'm yeah. Like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> we were so, all yeah. laughing about that when you came back. Yeah, I did. Is they're like, "Whoa!" <laughs> Finally made it home yesterday. Yeah. So after a Yay. week, we can we can Texas. I survived the Southerners. Yay! Yeah, <laughs> the Dallas fans. <laughs> Bad enough oh, to deal with two of them on our FIFA team. Anyway. <laughs> And last but not least, the Limerick Maker, the Lore Master, the Lazy Dragon, the Lovable Lug <laughs> Jeff <laughs> Crew Williams. How are you doing, sir? I am doing well. I'm doing well. Uh, I did not get stuck in travel or uh, hung over last night, so uh, all's good. No, but you came up in conversation at dinner last night when we were talking about 41 being <laughs> from the pier to... Appleton or Oshkosh? It's going to Oshkosh, right? De Pere to Oshkosh. Not Appleton. Appleton, Appleton to Oshkosh is done now. So, but yeah, De Pere to Appleton. That's going to be a mess. That's next summer. It, uh, some stuff starts next summer, but most of it will be off the road, like um, okay. a couple overpasses and, and uh, interchanges and stuff. But uh, the by the end of next year and into the following year, it's going to get fun. So if I you would, live in northeastern Wisconsin, Highway 41. Yeah, it's I would be a consider my ride to work, Jeff. an overpass and uh, and uh, whatever you said to be roads. Yeah, if you're not on them? specifically, not specifically 41 itself. Oh, 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 where I was going with that. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Yeah. Carry on. It's fair. That is fair. All right. Well, you guys want to play some Pathfinder this morning? Can't wait. Okay, let's get a recap from Jeff before All I right. that. <laughs> and the limerick. <laughs> oh, let's make sure my limerick page is working. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> so last uh, last session, we uh, started in the chapel room with uh, um, 
some lights rising within the skeletons. Uh, when that while that was happening, Lady Sill brought crew back from uh, unconscious. Um, and then Abed decided that he wanted to get a little closer to investigate, so then the lights got hostile. Um, Abed took enough damage to go down briefly, but uh, with Sill's healing, he got right back in it and was doing some serious damage. Um, the lights lived after the skeletons fell, but uh, between, I think it was Sill and Kane, they, they put the lights out. And then uh, after a bit of healing and searching, the group decided to, to head back to town. On the way out, they uncovered a secret staircase that, that uh, went down. And uh, then we headed back to Atari for some rest and possibly some shopping. Uh, so we, we fought the bodies possessed that were tougher than Abed had guessed. But we did our duty, then collected our booty and headed to town for some rest. Nice. Nice. It's classic. I like that one. I like oh, that man. one a lot. So, uh, you guys head into town. Excuse me. What would you like to do specifically when you get into town? It's evening. Sun is down. As I mentioned, the gauntlet was lit up as you were walking back. So I've been talking a lot uh, of with uh, Rick about rune technology. So hmm. um, we'd like to find a guy that we can trust in town uh, to improve our rune. Hey, you guy. Oddly enough, his name is actually Guy. No, no. Got a guy, no guy. Uh, I know a guy. Wandering around town, um, actually asking around a little bit, you know, um, and you probably, those of you that are from Otari, or from Absalom, or from, what's the name of this world again? I forget. It's your world. Yeah, no, it's, it's <laughs> Pathfinder's world. What the hell's the name of the world? The big one. Anyways. Galarian. Galarian. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> if you are from Galarian, <laughs> i.e. Absalom and Otari places, um, you would know. <laughs> Actually, if you're from Otari, you know. You're looking for blades for glades. That was a lot of talking to get to a name of a place. Uh, you were warned um, by the uh, proprietor of <laughs> your bar, God bless. I looked up everything and really? trying to learn all these places. Not, no, not her. You guys were at the Crow's Cask, weren't you? Yes. Crow's Casks, which is. Let's see. Malagoy. For the former pirate, Chica. She warned you that uh, the the. Smith at Blades for Glades is a little uh, surly. <laughs> His name is Carmen Rajani. Carmen. Yeah. And she said, yeah, he's probably going to mention the fact that he's a descendant of Vol Rajani, who was one of the original founders of Otari. Um, don't, break, don't bring up the mayor around him. <laughs> um, yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Sounds like an interesting individual for us to deal with. All right. But you know, if we if we plan to continue adventuring together, he could see a fair bit of business from us. So maybe we can yeah. strike a deal with him. That would be possible. Uh, you got to get on his good side somehow, though. <laughs> he's a bit, like I said, he's a bit surly. Does the man like whiskey? So might. He might. Would you care to buy a bottle to bring it to him? <laughs> buy a bottle. You got crew with you. <laughs> the, the money part is less important as he is gonna. He is providing a very unique skill set that we need very much. So, any other ideas on a gift, uh, like a welcome package? Because mm. I have some money. Mm. Just in case, I'm going to go ahead and try to steal a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and make a thievery check. Oh, 
Good this Lord. is what we do uh, to our allies. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and use my hero point. <laughs> really that bad? Uh, uh, yeah. He didn't Let's want to spend the rest of his adventure without his left hand. All right. 16 is better. I'll 16. take it. Uh, Melagre seems to be pretty into this conversation about uh, about Carmen and and really trying to think of some way. She's definitely engaged in this conversation. She doesn't seem to notice you as you pocket a bottle of whiskey. Nice. The question is, did you go for the top shelf? <laughs> just just the stuff at your level. Well, I'm not very tall, so I went for what I could reach. <laughs> On the rail, that is. All right, cool. Um, yeah, he's. I don't, I don't know if you have crafting materials. That's always welcome for the crafters around here. We don't get a lot of. Uh, I mean, the caravans that come to market. Sometimes there's crafting materials. Sometimes there's not. Um, I mean, honest, honest work may just be appealing to him. I. I I tend not to deal with them too much. I get anything I need from Absalom. All right, well, why don't I start with a top-shelf bottle of whiskey? What would that run me? A top-shelf bottle of whiskey. Hmm. Oh, let's see. One here. Let me get you uh, two gold. Okay. Top-shelf, I mean, there's... There's there's better whiskeys in the world, but the for what I got, two gold's gonna. Well, rail feels good for the party, so if I noticed our rogue grab a rail bottle, I'm like, well, I don't want to give that to him. That actually might be an insult, so I'm gonna buy a bottle of the top rail as a gift, yeah. or top shelf, and then we'll hold the rail for party time later today. All right. Oh, I know there are rules for this that I would love to try and use. <laughs> um, and let me just pick it up. Um, all right. So yeah, she she exchanges. Um, she's sitting there. She brings the top shelf whiskey out, puts it on the counter. He swoops up your tw two gold. <laughs> she's like, Fred. Damn it, Fred! And you see this guy with an apron come out from the uh, from behind the door. When you empty a bottle of whiskey, you need to replace the one on the rail. I, <laughs> I, I, just do it. I think okay. that's when we take our leave, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and she she gets into um, she gets into her routine again. A little more. The uh, evening crowd is starting to shuffle in. There's a man sitting next to her making love to his tonic and gin. Um, so, um, are you going to try and go at night here, or are you going to wait until tomorrow? I will Let's try to get you in the morning, I think. Better chance of getting what we want than disturbing right before he probably closes. Yeah, and I will tell you to sell off items and to do stuff like this. It's usually a day of downtime to do that. Uh, give me one second here. I got an important message I need to respond to. Well, the DM is doing it. Just a reminder, everybody, in our in our first campaign, we did get two ignits of cold iron, two cold iron ignits. Yep. So. If anybody has interest in using those, I do have them. I'm thinking of, I'm going to give them to Ellie while we're here because they're heavy. <laughs> As a wizard, I've been dis debating, you know, making myself a full plate meal. <laughs> cold, cold iron gives you, like, either if you put it on your armor, it's resistance to certain, like, demonic attacks. Or if you put it on your armor, or if you put it on your weapon, it gives you more damage against that type of enemy. Yep. That type it of costs stuff. obviously money and materials to do so. Yeah, I know at the end of uh, last session we talked about um, selling the trident and uh, also uh, playing poker for the gold tooth. So whenever that fits in that time. Oh yeah, that 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 would fit in here right now for the night. Um, here. So do the trident in the morning and play poker and yeah. 
Okay. So we don't have, we don't have to play through that, but that's just. Uh... Yep. Is there is there somewhere with Ellie or the the group that we're with that we're working with that there would be like a group hoard or cache of material where somewhere I can <laughs> we can get this off my character sheet so it doesn't encumber me. A she locker. does have she does have a stash. <laughs> There's a chest okay. sitting next to her in the corner where they've kind of set up. Um, there is always someone from TBD in the corner. Um, and several of the other members that have come by work through the night, but she'll typically get up in the morning and take the morning through about 7 p.m. So, Jeff, you want to keep track of that stash for us or something? Or sure. sure. You know, you track a lot of stuff. Party sheet? Yeah, party sheet of you can't sure. carry a lot without being encumbered. No. <laughs> no. <clears throat> yeah, and I would, instead of selling the rapier, I'd probably just stash it there in case I lose one. So that was one of the things I, like, I don't need two of them. So, okay. Party sheet. Oh. Wait a minute. I'm trying to do this. What is that? We can also stash excess coin there if we don't want to carry around, you know, yes. Yes. once we That's once it. we do get uh, rich or whatever. All right, so I want one rapier. <laughs> to rich. And then, what did you say? Two? Did you want the cold ingots? Cold iron ingots. Is that cold some, iron ing ingots. Is that something you'd want to use for leverage with uh, Smithy? No, no. I'll save it. We can. We might find a use for it eventually. <laughs> it's not a great. Benefit. I mean, it's only against very specific creatures that it benefits you. So, okay, we'll keep it. I'm gonna remove those from my inventory, though. Thank you. Ah. Okay. Wait. I'll uh, jot them on a post-it now, but then I'll add it to a note in my character sheet. Okay. Perfect. Then yeah, Kane would just rest the night with the TBD crew or wherever they pull up. He's not much of a late night person. I don't know what the rest of the party's gonna do. All right. Lady Lady Sill would like to uh, kind of sit back in a dark corner and um, flip some tarot cards to see if she can get any precognition or anything like that on on the rest of our journey. Abed will stand over her shoulder and watch. <laughs> well, if you're sitting in a she corner, I'll, I'll sit at the same dark, table, I guess. Dark corner for solitude. And Abed. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> so you you work your way through the night. You do your poker. You do your you do your things in the morning. You rise to do your selling of items and looking for um, Carmen Rajani to. Uh, transfer your room. So you head over to the Blades for Glades. You can hear there's actually smithing going on inside. And the short squat building has, um, there's actually smoke pouring out of the top um, from a chimney. And it's a brick building. Uh, sturdy wooden door. It, it looks like it's built well and it's maintained decently enough. Um, uh, you, you think he's got a decent uh, decent business here going. I see you open the door, there's a, a, a tinkling, little tinkling bell. The ding, 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 ding. Shopkeeper's bell. Yep. And it's funny because you, there's like two more strikes of the hammer. And then you hear... And out from around the corner, a, um, a male human um, kind of looks at you. Just looks at you. Kind of early, don't you think? Uh, we're we're a busy we're a busy crew, so we tend to get moving early in the morning. Well, I'm a busy crew too. What do you want? I'm a busy crew too. says it with a completely straight face and 
He looks, he looks, listen, if you're going to waste my time, I, I got stuff to do. What do you want? I was looking to have a rune transferred between weapons. Are you on the schedule? No, I'm not. How do I get on the schedule? <laughs> uh, well, you make an appointment. Listen here, precious. I, I wonder if this bottle of whiskey, at this maybe this precious. bottle of whiskey can get us on that schedule yet today. Just, just hoping that we can help uh, this this beleaguered town with the issues with the gauntlet. That's us. We're, we're just trying to help. And boy, looking at a strong man like you, maybe. Maybe you could be part of that help. I just really appreciate it. Uh, make a diplomacy check, Lady Sil. <laughs> Show a little leg. Maybe that'll help. Ooh, it's a good one. 22. 22. He looks at the bottle, raises an eyebrow, looks at you. Grabs the bottle, he pops the cork. Puts the cork back on. You have my attention. Huh? You said today you want something done today. Well, possible. We, we've got a couple runes. I, it's just a simple upgrade for me on these hand wraps. And then, uh, well, you know, may, maybe a little bit more effort, but boy, we sure will be grateful. Mm. So you want you want you, you so you want a rune on the hand wraps. You understand I'm a blacksmith, right? I I imagine it's the same if you're if you're an expert on runes. I I just you know I sure would be appreciative if you could maybe just look at it. Maybe uh maybe you know somebody. Uh, well, I can tell you right now, you ain't you don't want a blacksmith. Uh-huh. Damn. You don't want a blacksmith. Your accent yeah. is wildly contagious. <laughs> I sure did learn something new today. Oh, like thank you so much. <laughs> like yawn. Is there someone in town that might be able to help me? I mean, clearly, uh, clearly Jacob here could use some help too. And that does seem to align with your amazing expert skill set. But for me, uh, boy, if there's anybody that I would be so much obliged if you could send me in that direction. Oh, that's... Hmm. Mm. We got a... <laughs> I am looking to see. Side note, no, I could listen to Southern to Lady Sill all day. <laughs> Maybe Ren? Oh, if you're, uh, down, if you're oh, looking to uh, add... <laughs> Runes to cloth items, it's setting. That's, yeah, Rin may be your best bet to go with. Um, what do you, what do you got, sir? I have a morning star here, and I, I show him the, the one we found. It's fairly well constructed, and from uh, past experience, I can see it has a rather mundane rune on it. And I'd like to transfer that rune onto these hammers mm. that I carry. Mm. It should be fairly make a work. make a perception check. <laughs> Twenty four. Nineteen on the die. You you seem to have offended him slightly when describing the morning star. <laughs> and he uh, he's looking and goes, Oh, I remember making this. You did. Oh yeah, I can yes, I can transfer this rune for you. Um, it's gonna be seven gold to do so. Um yeah, it's going to take me the better part of the day. Um, I need you to sign this as well. And he <laughs> reaches below the thing and <laughs> slides it out. And it's a, um, 
it's a liability waiver, <laughs> uh, absolving him of all liability if he should mess up your weapon. <laughs> Uh, understood understood and you're welcome to keep the morning star after you're done if you had originally made it once the runes off of it hmm. Hmm. dm question if anyone's got the equipment up how much is a morning star worth one gold one gold yeah it might yeah, well this it. would have be worth more with the potency rune on it but we're taking that off so yeah but you're taking that off so that is um he looks like at and goes, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to keep the mace. Like a, or Morningstar, yeah. I will, um, it'll be six gold then, and then the Morningstar. Okay. So I can, I can do that for you. Um, it will be later in the day, like probably closer to sundown that I'll, it'll be ready for you. Um, so, I don't okay. know. Go enjoy Otari. He says, he says dry as hell. Please, please you get the funny Steve feeling. Ball. This is more just the place he is. Like, he, he, there's some underlying tension and anger in him that you may not know. Best guess is it has something to do with the mayor. Yeah. <laughs> Jacob, uh, Jacob takes the head. Of one of the of one of the ends of the meteor hammer off and gives it to the blacksmith to work with, but the chains stay attached to Jacob. Okay. Once we leave the shop, <clears throat> I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to say, I think it would be in our best interest then if we are going to wait here today, to rest as much as we can, if we're going to go tonight to to the gauntlet. Well, I'm still hoping to get an audience with this Ren, but I gotta find him. Oh, you know yeah, it. we. This we, is the lady that oh, she this gave is us your mystical life. lady friend. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, I would like to go there too because I want to see if I can get a reading, a uh, fortune telling, or whatever she does. And let's give her an update on how things are going, because boy, yeah. we're having no problems at all. We, we, I think we can say. <laughs> <laughs> We survived and we have treasure. We'll call that a win. Now, to do the rune raw, you need a formula. Do you have a formula? No, since this is a pretty common rune, I, and he deals with runes, I assume he would have the... He would be... No, for the... For, for uh, Lady Sills. No, not, not oh, for Lady Sills. Lady Sills. Oh yeah, Lady yeah. Sill has to have because she, she doesn't yeah, have the room. She, 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 she needs a formula because we don't have a room attached. Kind of hope, kind of hoping uh, Rin might have one. I think. Oh, interesting. And it's going to be significantly pricier. Yeah, so noted. Okay, so um, yeah, he, he, he's very like <laughs> when you guys are done, kind of dealing. He's like, we done. Yeah. Yes. As only you, you sign the thing, he hands you the like a carbon copy of it as a claim slip, and here you go. You bring okay. that back when you come back, and I'll have it ready for you. You want us to come back today yet, or early tomorrow? You can come back tonight, as long as there's smoke coming out of the chimney. I'm up. All right. Fair deal. That's Good my luck. bad. I thought Good we had luck. walked out already. <laughs> <He> turns around. <laughs> what a pleasant individual. He really is not. <laughs> he really is not. And Ryan Ryan did very well. Um, <laughs> it was it was a twenty. The whiskey brought it down to an eighteen <laughs> to change the diplomacy check. It was a good roll yeah. then. Otherwise he wouldn't have done anything for you. <laughs> He's unfriendly, he does not want to deal with you. Uh, Abed um, takes note that uh, Lady Sill is now the, the diplomat of the group. The oh, face. Uh huh. That's oh, only boy. a plus three, so you're taking your life in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Ryan, the cost for it—I don't know if that's what you're looking up—is going to end up being sixty-five gold. Oh and the, uh, yeah, I was trying. That assumes no markup. To, yeah. yeah. I went to my hand wraps just to see if there's any detail in there about that. So I'm good. Yeah, I mean we can yeah. uh, 
we can get there. I do have so, that kind of bondage, so. Yeah, you guys move out uh, and discuss the uh, finer points or lesser points of uh, Carmen as you <laughs> are walking to Lady Wren's. Um, I don't know if you guys had the city map up, but um, that is... Where the hell is my map? Did you map. send us the city map? I did at one point. Way I I sent back. A message way back in the day. Um, Probably with the previous campaign, there was a map. And I yeah. think it's the same one. So Renz is at four. And where is... Well, where the hell is... Blades for Glades is six. Oh, hang on. It's a short walk. You just, just around the block and up the path to the road. To Renz wonders. The, the wind kind of blows at the tarps overhead a little bit. Uh, it's, it's a breezy morning. A um, few clouds in the sky. But the sun peeks through every once in a while. And it seems a decent day. Just as you're about to open the door to enter, she opens the door. Come in. Hmm. Coincidence. Come in, come in, my friends. How hey, how thanks, goes man. how goes the exploring? Oh, you know it's a piece of cake for a talented crew like ours. That's what I figured it would be. Hi hi. Yeah. <laughs> okay, looks I it. mean, not that there's no risk to it, of course, but but uh, just a group like us, we stick together, we take care of business. Uh, you know, it, it, it's working out real well. I'm going to turn seen... back to Kane and say I'm the talented crew she's talking about. You you uh, see her... Um... Mm -hmm. you... You're a busy, talented crew. <laughs> it broke me, Jeff. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Um... <laughs> you see, as you are talking to her, when, when crew waves, she... She fights the urge to pat him on the head. <laughs> and she, like, puts a hit and is like, oh, no, I can't do that. And is very... Because um, he's a person and... with feelings. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and... Enjoys pats on head feelings, though. But, um... So now he's disappointed. Um, she... Oh, 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 hang on. So do you show that disappointment at all? No. No. No? No, no, okay. no. no. Oh, <laughs> she notices, though. There's something in the way your shoulders shift. Oh. Mm. Uh, it's just, uh, and she looks at you and decides to pat you on the head, then. <laughs> Big smile. <laughs> and a pitch tent. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have come here for, as as good as you say it's going, you've come here for help. Yes? You know, yes. Uh, in addition to just wanting to give you a great update on how things are going very well, I just want to let you know again. Uh, I came upon these hand wraps, and boy, it would really stoke my fire. If you could upgrade this rune, you know, I'm just finding myself a little bit lacking in combat compared to my betters. And I just want to make sure I can stand firm when all these enemies come at us and we say, you will not best us today. We will come out on top yet again. Praise Jesus. Lady Sill has turned I into a southern preacher. I, do not, I was going to say, I do not know when Lady Sill went southern bell, but I am here for it. I love it. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and that should be that should be yes she is a southern belle um <coughs> oh. well you said upgrade there's a rune on it already yeah i've got this this little 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 baby little plus one and what i'm hoping to do is just increase the power you know oh. so add a little strike into it you know just a little bit of striking oh i see what you're saying i understand 
That's gonna be different than what the DM told you. <laughs> the oh, DM thought there was no, no that... rune on it. You know, no, that no is. Worries. So the plus the plus one it get cost the first thirty five, and then the other sixty five is to get it from a plus one to a striking. So that's the sixty five. I think you had uh, it right. Thirty no thirty five is, um, for. Armor. Plus one to armor. I, I wrote down plus one armor was 160, so maybe I... If I'm looking at the hand wraps, the the uh, striking hand wraps are worth 100, so the math does seem to work. Hang but... on, hang on, one, one second. I'm going to find it again. The, look, the hand wraps you have on them already have a plus one potency rune on them? Correct. Yep. Okay. Yes, so that them. allows you to do a plus one striking on top of it. I think. So, but you keep the potency room too, so you're then dealing weapon potency. Oh, it's, oh, those are both fundamental. So, yeah. Right. So I um, think I mean to me it would make sense to pay the full hundred. Cause yes, I'm it, it is sixty five. I'm keeping the plus one, and then I'm adding striking. So. Yeah. So it it will be sixty five. I was right. Okay. I was right. Jeff was right. right when he said I was right. Okay. So. Hey, okay. I like That's being right when you're saying the DM is right. On how... makes the DM happy. <laughs> this is an interesting lesson on how runes work. Cause, uh, oh, it's, it's this was it is very a confusing wild. to me, I'll say. <laughs> oh, try try searching it on Archives of Nethys. It's like there's little pieces here and there and here and there. It's like I probably should have went straight to the book. It, yeah, if you got the book, the whole it starts on 580. It starts on page 580, the whole runes section, and it's actually fairly well laid out. <laughs> interesting. Um, there are I'll two types of runes you have. Um, Fundamental and property. Yep, fundamentals. So your fundamentals are your plus one, um, to plus one to hit and plus one to damage. And the plus one striking is to damage. The plus one is just to hit. And then, then you have like your fire and your ice and your cold and lightning, and those are your property ones. Striking and, isn't a plus one to damage. Striking is a plus another, full damage dice to damage. Yeah, it's a die. Yeah, it's a die. It's a full damage die. Yeah, so yeah. If, he's, if he's swinging with one d six, it becomes two d six. Shut the. Yeah. I, don't know the I don't know what the hand wraps deal, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Each striking each level of striking damage. adds one. But remember, it's only my unarmed striking. Yeah. So in this case, it's my fox fire, which is a d four. It would add another d four. Yeah. I do have <clears> claws, <throat> and my claws are a d four, so it would be two d four with my claw attack. But it's, it's, not, it's, it's not, not a huge attack. damage increase for Kukta because he's swinging with a, a low damage weapon. Yeah. Now, if I got something like that on my hammer, that would be yeah. broken at this point in the game. Yeah, I think anyone else, I think it would be ridiculous. Well, maybe yeah, not. The, I don't know how much she's doing with melee. Pretty, yeah, that's why they're pretty low because it's just the unarmed strikes. Wow. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I didn't realize it was a full die more. Holy hell. <laughs> yeah. Okay, don't give that to Rick right now. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, it's a level. Notice, not a strike, even a is a level four rune. Yeah. Um. So yeah, she is. Uh, she looks as. Um, oh, so you just you want to do some more damage to? Her. Okay. I think I. Mm, let me look him back. <laughs> she goes. She goes around behind the counter, and she she's got this massive crate chest with a like a padlock i didn't want to <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. yep, that. Yeah, hold on so lady sill looks at crew with this look like don't touch it <laughs> no crew, no crew knows you steal from common people who uh, uh who don't have magic you don't steal from people who can tell the future got it <laughs> Um, so she, uh, she goes around and, uh, she's looking at it and, um, she waves her hand in a motion in front of it and you hear an audible click. She pulls a key out from her neck and does, un sticks it, like, where she puts the key? Like, crew, you're watching, you're paying attention because you love learning stuff about contraptions and stuff like this. Um. She actually puts the key... It looks like she just puts it into the board. Like, there was no keyhole there or anything. And puts it in and clicks it. And you see when she pulls it back out, there's actually a keyhole there. 
and there must have been like an illusion or something making it look like solid wood there. Yeah. Um, and she pulls that out, tucks that back in, pulls the lid off, and she pulls out this big pile of books and sets it off to the side, and she's rummaging around in there. Um, let's see what she... How successful is she? Ha! Ah. She's, she's looking around, and she's, <laughs> looks, she's like, what's this still doing in here? And she crumbles it up and throws it over her shoulder and starts digging. She comes out, and she's like, here! I normally don't do stuff like this, but I felt like this was valuable. And she, she brings it up and kind of slides it across uh, the counter. She said, this is what I needed. I needed um, formula for this type of thing. I normally don't do, like, damage stuff things. It's so barbaric. But I understand where you're at with, with your adventure and the help you need. So I, I can do something like this, yes. Um, and <laughs> because you're a friend, because you're a friend, yeah, I, I can do it for 50 gold. Oh, well, ain't you the sweetest? Well, you know me, I try to be. <laughs> it's well, hard to be sweet when you know what's going to happen. Sometimes it's very if... hard to be sweet when you know what's going to happen. Here's 55. Why don't you take care of it? And uh, we'll be back a little bit later. Okay. And as you look down at um, anyone that's near the paper, you look down at it. If you, it, it's written in Goblin. Well, actually, no, it isn't written in Goblin because Goblins don't have written language. Um, it's it's written in some scrawl that looks like like hieroglyphs yeah. and evil and. Someone with very, very bad penmanship. <laughs> like a kid with a piece of coal wrote out an a instruction manual or something. It's orca-ish. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So she, she's like, I, I will take care of it. Yeah, if you come back tonight, I should, I should be able to finish this by tonight. Um, oh, I'll, know, I'll know when you're coming, so... Just when, oh, when I know really you do. You're so powerful. I I hope I hope someday you can show me just a little bit of your shine. Oh, well, I, yeah. Speaking of shine, and she walks over to grabs this big rod and well, she she first just takes everything like off the counter and kind of in one big fluid motion everything she stacked up on the counter that was in the chest one arm just back into the chest and all goes <laughs> and she takes it and like some of the papers are sticking out sideways where if she closes they're gonna hang out and she's like folding it all in and cramming it in and like there's no organization inside this chest whatsoever and pushing it down and she's like yep <clears throat> and she slams it and there's one little piece of paper hanging out and she's like <clears throat> rip <laughs> All right, and she crumbles it up and puts it in the brazier and burns away. I hope that wasn't important. Well, we'll take our leave. All right. And she, as you guys are leaving, she walks around and she grabs a big pole and starts removing the tarps from overhead to expose the sky so she can see the sky. All right. Well, we'll see you tonight. I can do a reading for you tonight, crew. <laughs> <laughs> You read my mind. Yes. All right, so midday uh, bar. What, yeah, what do you work? Midday bar. What? Yeah. What are you doing with your day? Um, I I would crew would like to uh, just take a leisurely stroll through the market. Um, not really looking for anything specific, but I want him to show up where everyone else is later, with um like a bag of of uh, like Dorito Doritos. Doritos. And, uh, and, Doritos. And, uh, Toes. And and a fun new invention that this crazy little guy and and his uh, muscular goblin had were were testing out on people and it's like a little baked little baked contraption that has a piece of paper inside. It's weird. Hmm. It's, it's, uh, yeah. It was very interesting. Yeah. He um. It's like. Yeah. So. 
you go through the market, um, there's guys yelling, fresh, fresh. It's a dude selling, selling the snacks. Yeah. Um, it's actually, it is a, there's a little girl in front of the booth. And she's got a plate. And there's Doritos and Cheetos on the plate. This is a free sample? <laughs> and and that's how she gets you to actually buy mm -hmm. them. <laughs> um, what is everyone else doing as crew goes through? Abed would go to a library and try to find information about the building in general, like anything about a gauntlet. Like he's just gonna go and do some. Okay, the Dawn Flower Library is the library in town, and it's it's actually a um, a temple to uh, Serenry. So I don't know how you would feel about a temple to Serenry. <laughs> Serenry being the um, the goddess of the sunrise and light and good. <laughs> uh. <laughs> So you're saying I'd be the um, only person dressed all in black with a raven on his shoulder with his hood pulled over his face? No, not necessarily. There are also <laughs> shrines in the Dawnflower Library to uh, Kate and Kaelian, Aristel, and Gosra. I really so. need to figure out who my actual patron is. That, God is. Yeah. Yeah. I, I should really figure that out this week. Um, <clears throat> I would... I would bet is from uh, Sword Coast, right? So it would be a... Um, Essentially, a D and D pantheon. If you, but I mean, I'm sure you can choose any of them. But well, that's, that's it. Wouldn't, the, it wouldn't have to be a Galarian one. Well, that's the problem here, and the problem Abed's been experiencing because Abed is more powerful than what you've seen him do. He's mm -hmm. extremely frustrated right now because when he shifted, his contact with his uh. patron, his deity. There's nothing there when he's reaching, so he's kind of searching. <laughs> mm. And that's why he doesn't know as much. He, like, the uh, crew, you went with him, right? From... Yep. He was, like, really powerful back back at home. And he's not not quite as much here. So that's that would be... That's a good story line reason as to why you don't know who your god is yet. <laughs> And why you aren't nearly as powerful as you used to be. <laughs> um, Zandi Banderdash is the uh, devotee of Serenre that meets you in the library. Uh, and she says, can I help you? Yes. Little... I would like to look at the no. archives. Of what, What's the name of the building? That we're, is it just the... Um, the the gauntlet the uh what is it it's the root yeah it's the gauntlet I'm looking for the name we'll just call it the gauntlet I we are we are investigating the gauntlet keep the gaunt okay we are investigating the gauntlet keep and if you Please help me find if you have any building maps or if you have any information about this building. Maybe possibly some lore about what is wrong. About what is wrong? I well, we don't know what is wrong other than no one goes around there very much anymore and that light shining up there, that's something uh, something to be concerned about. So, uh, But if you have anything yeah. in your archives of people making notes, story, it doesn't matter how uh, ludicrous it may be, I would like to uh, research well, this she, building. She stands up from the desk, speaking of ludicrous. <laughs> hey um, Let's see, what, what can I find for you? Go yeah. home, you're drunk. Um, yeah. Stand up. <clears throat> Looking for that. Maybe it's in the other one. I think it's actually in this one. 
she is, she goes, I, I think I have something. I may even have some old maps for you if I can find them. Um, let, me, let, me, let me look here. Abed's just going to stand there and tap his foot. Um, she does find some... She finds a um, like set of structural blueprints um, for what appears to be uh, several levels of, uh, of a... Uh, it seems to go several levels deep. Um, there is servants' quarters, um, library, uh, and then the ruins themselves. Like there, there are two levels below the ruins themselves that she's got blueprints for. I, I can um, hmm. I can't let you take these but um, if you want to spend some time like making making a copy I can allow you to do that um, if you have materials paper pen ink yeah I would yeah. Uh, I would spend my day making notes making copy <clears throat> you know just kind of Getting as much information as I can. Okay. Um, how much? Uh, so you're spending. If you're spending the day, like if if this is what you're going to do for the day, is copy these. It is. I am. I am spending the day. I have no. I have no desire to go shopping. I have no desire to go look at you know, the blacksmith or uh, anything like that. I. I don't have a lot of money on me. I'm just. That's he's a true I'm... wizard. He's, he's going for info. I yeah. will end up getting you um, specifically what you find. Perfect. From the prints, I I will I will give you maps. Um, for what you got. Um, let's see. Do me a. Do me a. <laughs> I was gonna say, please finish that you... sentence. Why don't you do me a solid and uh, give me a, um, I need you to give me a roll because I may actually give you some extra information, but I don't know what roll to have you give me. Um, give me a. Hooch, you son of a bitch. You beat uh, me to it. Performance roll. <clears throat> Just for copying? Copying, yeah. Be a crafting maybe? Yeah. Crafting or performance, whichever one. Crafting, actually, it would be crafting. You're crafting a map. Good, because I'm a plus seven abilities. crafter. Good. Ooh. Good. It's handy having the sheets open. I can steer the DM in the oh, right direction. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> use my inspiration. I rolled a fucking <laughs> one. It's a good time to use your hero point. Yep, yeah. I'm using my hero yeah. point. Like you dropped the ink all over the page. You gotta start over. The first page, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, that's better. Ten? <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, cool. Here. Yeah. Uh, through the course of the day, you make a map of these uh, two levels. Uh, you discover you've been through most of the first level uh, based on what you see here. Um, I will, um, I, I will open as a result. I will open up the fog on this map, and the next two maps won't be fogged as we, as we go down levels because you have nice. Maps. Um, nice work, good job, Norm. Oh, um, good. cool. Um, I like the uh, under hero point. It it calls it like if you're using a reroll, it says it's a fortune effect. So I like to think that something kind of crazy happened. It's so like earlier when True was trying to steal the bottle of whiskey, he was like trying to scoop it off the shelf and it fell and he caught it. It's like yeah. it was going to crash and be bad. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, Wizard Abed, yeah, he was spilling the ink and used some kind of a cantrip to save himself. My, 
Uh, Troy was sitting there and he beaked it to keep it from falling over. There you go. Nice. There you are. Excellent. So you have that. Uh, let's see. That was crew. That was a bad lady cell and Kane. What are you doing? Kane, you're walking around a little light. <laughs> One less meteor. Much lighter. We're bouncing a step. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you got rid of those it's two angles together. That one, one of your weights is gone for now. Um, uh, I'm, I'll just chit chat with Crew. I mean, he seems pretty interested in his his uh, reading tonight. So, just letting him know the positives and negatives of knowing the future. Okay. But I I really don't have anything else. I'm just anticipating getting the wraps back and. Maybe some light drinking. All right. Kane, uh, Kane would um, pick up a uh, lunch for Lady Seal for her and express his appreciation for her uh, diplomacy with the shopkeeper. Kane, uh, when it comes to the whip and the carrot, I'm pretty good with the whip, but uh, not so good with the carrot. That was very helpful. Oh, you are just an absolute delight. All right. Um, so the uh, the snacks that we got were fortune cookies. Yes. So, uh, yeah. I found a I found a random fortune cookie generator. So if everybody wants awesome. a random, uh, so uh, I'll do. Uh, so at dinner, do that, at dinner that evening before yeah. you end up going back to. Uh, so you meet back at the Crow's Casks and uh, Abed's got these scrolls wound up he's got like three of them under his arm um you got your bag of treats and uh your your fingers are orange and you know like licking them off as you're eating them uh and that yeah and you all come back and meet at crow's casks and have a nice dinner uh with uh some cheetos and doritos as a side and after dinner you have uh you have these little tasty treats you bring out as a special mm -hmm. uh, gift if you all want to uh all right. Yeah, I have no idea anything. I've never used this before, so uh, we'll go with Crew. Up. Crew up is his first to show him how it works. Uh, it says travel is in your future. It's like, hey, see, these things are awesome. Uh, who wants I to go next? Like his nose. Your magic. Who wants? Who's next? Uh, Lady Sill, go. <laughs> All right, Lady Sill. Anxiety won't help your problems. That makes sense. That's us. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Next, I guess I will. I will see what happens. All right. Uh, uh, respect your elders. You could inherit a large sum of money. Ooh. Yeah. So some of these are interesting. Okay. Do, do you have elders, Kane? Yeah, you're kind of a. My parents, I haven't seen them in a long, long time. I assume they're still alive. <laughs> Maybe this is telling you to go look for them. Who knows? <laughs> Are, are you um, opening these for us, or are you passing them over? Oh, no, no, I pa pass them around. So. All right. Yeah, um, this is as you guys are cracking them open. There's a little orange dust on them from the Doritos. Abed will take his <clears throat> and... Whoa, how do I want to do this? Give it to the bird, and the bird eats the inside, too. <laughs> <laughs> No, Fortunately, come on later. Bird eats the paper and telepathically tells you what it says. <laughs> uh, Abed, I'm I'm just going to take it. I'm. I have no use for this type of <gasps> shit, and I'll just drop it on the ground. Don't don't waste it. Ellie says the they're delicious. She has broken hers open, put the piece of paper down. She didn't even look at it. She's eating it. She, right. If any of you don't want yours, I will eat them. I don't know, if she caught me before I threw it down, I will hand it to her. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Wait, 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 wait. Let's roll a die. See if she... Better than 10, she caught you or not. Uh, da, da, da. It's 10. She just caught it. She <clears> went <throat> to throw it, and she snatched it quick, right as it left her hand. So, so she broke one open. There's a fortune on the table in the middle of the table. If crew's interested, she's also breaking yeah. another one and just throwing the fortune in the middle of the table. All right. So the one that the one that would have been Ellie since that was open first. Yep. Uh, tomorrow is another day. So nothing real. Yeah, that, that makes sense. And, uh, 
I, it's not going to be wrong. Yeah, yeah. that's true. So the fortunes must be true then. And then, uh, yeah, crew would definitely sneak a peek at what would have been Abed's. Uh, Does he say anything? Says, <laughs> not unless someone asks. So it says, uh, don't worry what others think of you. I don't think he does. Oh, that that might have melted that that heart. It, it might have grown his heart three sizes that day. <laughs> yeah, I don't see that happening. Adventuring is not something you buy from the store. It is just that little bit more. <laughs> oh. So you guys finish up your meal. Um, and where do you head first? Do you head to um, Carmen to the blade? Sure. And where we started? Place or do you head to Ren? <clears throat> yeah, right there. Yeah, we don't want to miss him. All right. So yeah, you head to, over to Blades for Glades. And yeah, there's still smoke pouring out of the chimney and you hear pinging. You open the door and there's the ding, 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 ding. And the pinging stops almost immediately. He goes, yeah, yeah, you're here. It's back. It went well. Don't Good. worry. Here you go. Flame slip. Nice work. Um, Thank you. Do you enjoy this type of work or are you more... Would you rather be working in creating new weapons? This is a means to an end. Okay. I should. I should be running this damn town. Oh, that sounds aspirational. My family founded this town. Oh. So. Have some other Yahoo running, it's an insult. <clears throat> Did uh, control of the town used to be handed down through families? I haven't been here long. No, there's voting. Democracy. I totally understand your negativity, <sighs> sir. Well, we're going to be right. we're going to be uh, traveling around and doing some work around town, so. If we find other opportunities to take a pass work your way, we can at least do that for you. How, uh... Yeah, nah. All right, well, that'll work, yeah. News, <laughs> new, I'll tell you news of your generosity today will spread far and wide across this town and uh we will make sure of that good sir that will be interesting let me know how people react to that indeed <laughs> all right good evening <laughs> he turns around and walks back <laughs> you hear the hammer start up again james says lady Sill, he's not the most personal person, but I respect the dedication to the craft. To be honest, I'd be a little concerned if he was running this town. Oh, boy. I, I do, do declare. <laughs> Let's head over to Wren's. I'm terribly excited to get to get a load of my new hand wraps. All right. That was good. So, um, you guys... Um, as you approach, uh, the door is closed. She doesn't open it this time. Um, what would you like to do? I'll open it for the lady. Hold it open. Or attempt um, to. You grab the door and you kind of open it and you stand back to allow people in. When you open it, she is floating naked on a rock. Her hands to the sky, uh, the moonlight pouring down, cascading over her body. She says, I'll be one minute. Take all the time you need. <laughs> Lady Sill, um, okay, so Lady Sill's the first one in the door. She's going to tell, she's going to turn around, boys, cover your eyes. Give the, give the lady some respect. Um, after about a James minute... James puts down his visor on, on his armor. <laughs> <laughs> after about a minute, her body slowly lowers 
onto the stone and she lowers her arms and kind of shakes it out and walks over to the counter and grabs her um she's got like this robe and then she slides into and ties off and says oh you guys are back i have your hand wraps done look at the moon tonight it's gorgeous oh i saw you drinking it in i you know, I would do the same, except, boy, we're on a timeline, so... Well, that, that's fair. That is absolutely fair. Um, did you see the gauntlet lit up again? Yeah, it, you know, that feels normal to us. We've been so immersed in it that, uh, boy, it's just like second nature looking over there. It, it kind of is a warm beacon, like, come on in. And we can't wait to get back. Abed gives her the side eye, like. <laughs> well, here, let me get these first. And she goes in back and brings out a, it's a wrapped cloth. It's very beautiful, wrapped like silk, wrapped around it with a bow. And she said, here you go. Here are your hand wraps. Um. And, uh, well, crew, you wanted a reading. And she, out of nowhere, like, she does, she kind of, like, she said, you wanted a reading. And she goes like this, and then there's a tarot deck in between her fingers. <laughs> and uh, she fans it, and then shuffles it, and there's several flourishes to it. And she lays them out on the counter. She lays out the Nine of Cups the Ace of Wands, and then the Nine of Wands. And she said, oh, well, this is interesting. From your past, uh, there are, there's comfort and connection. Family, apparently. Uh, there's kinship. Um, you'll, you're only going to find happiness if your soul can recapture this from your past um, uh, the, this the ace of wands the present um, suggests a change of career or meeting someone new um, you anticipate emotion and material stability um, that will lead towards some sort of fulfillment for you uh, but this is a bit more concerning as she points to the nine of wands um, this may be your last event your last venture your last adventure um, allowing you to complete something you've begun um, whatever you have um, whatever you're going to put your strength and energy into in the future will um, should help you to this completion, but it's uncertain. The road is ever winding. Um, but for the most part, it, it, your future, your, your life seems pretty positive, young one. Yeah, I did, I did just start a change of career. I was sailing before, and now I'm adventuring. And who knows, well, maybe is this is just going to be... Uh, a great adventure, and maybe it'll be my last one in this line of work. But, uh, yes. Well, hey, a new line of work is always always a welcome adventure. <laughs> and when adventures start a new adventure, doing something else. It seems to be a theme with Jeff's characters. <laughs> <laughs> start out adventuring, and then they settle down and do something. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Cool. Crew is all excited. Bar. He's... He's like a kid in a candy <laughs> store. He's just grinning from ear to ear. Like, that was amazing. I can't believe it. She um, it. She, she, she does look at you as you're holding all the cards. She's like, I am going to need those back when we're done <laughs> for the next reading. Uh, crew, for just a brief second, thinks about handing her back two of the three cards, but then knows that she would know and does not. Um, <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to say, it's either that or he hands back the two because he's palmed the third one. And she, she like, open, fans open the deck. He thinks he can hand back two. And she's like, crew. 
because he knows he has the third one. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but yeah, he hands him back to her. Um, okay. Well, good luck on your adventure. Uh, it should should you need anything, you're welcome to come back. Um, I can do stuff like this, and your hand wraps as you open them. They look phenomenal. Uh, she's added the rune. You can see where it's added, and put them on, and you feel uh, there's something there. There's some oomph there. Cool. You're not a yeah. violent woman, but you feel like punching something. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Can't wait to get back into the gauntlet. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't turn in a, into a deer for you to shoot me as I run around. Yes. Um, do you guys head to the gauntlet tonight, or are you going back in the morning? Crew has no opinion. Nobody's ever asked me that before. Um, well, we were poking around in the daytime, and we I mean, there's plenty there. I don't know if we want to risk it more at night. It's going to be any more challenging, but I guess the answer we're looking for is probably in the night. I kind of feel like we... It's late at late evening, right? Seven, eight o'clock. Yeah. Like, it's probably pretty reasonable to go right now. I mean, assuming we were resting most of last night and today, yep. mm-hmm. feels right. So Let's you head it. back. You head back to the gauntlet as you approach uh, the light up there, where it looked like a lighthouse from a distance that was turning. <laughs> As you get closer, you realize it's not turning. It's pulsing. It gets brighter all the way around, and then it dims, and then gets brighter again. Someone's uh, faking it. (laughs) The slurk seems to be snoring in the swamp. As you cross the bridge, can we see if the uh, um, the cross javelin the is there? The javelin is there. It's on. It's on. It's literally sitting on top of his nose, and it kind of wobbles. Can should we get the javelin? I have another one. I don't need it. Okay. Seems kind of risky. He's sleeping now. I know, but I, I'm guessing that it's muddy down there and that if you try to wade through the mud, he's going to know you're coming. And hard to be sneaky in mud. Oh, I was going to just try to jump on his head and take it and jump off. but He's a little ways away from the bridge. All right. We'll leave it for As now. As you approach... <laughs> I can do this. Cool. Risk is not, or reward is not worth the risk. Put it that way. You know all of this now. I suppose we're fresh, ready for battle. Now, um, we start, as we were looking through the maps, um, you know, of course, we know we've got two bronze keys, and we were speculating Mm -hmm. where those bronze keys might be used. Oh, yes. Yes. Speculating the keys. The keys came from the... That desk drawer. Yes, which was the room—the room with the green line in it, I think, or the one behind it. Yeah, yeah the one behind it, I think it was. So I gotta find Triang- it. <clears throat> the triangular-looking one. Yep, that triangular-looking mm-hmm. one. Um. Yeah. All right. Uh. Yeah, your keys had. Um. One looked like Two a lighthouse, keys, and one looked yeah. like a book. One has a light. Yep, one has a lighthouse on it. Um, and then the other one has a uh, has a book. And if looking at it, if I can find it, I'm trying to find. There is a. I'm looking for maps here. I, wish I, I mean, do we think we're gonna try to look at all the rooms on this level anyway? So. Yeah, I mean, try. Yeah. I, you can, I, mean, I don't think we to... want anything surprising us, so I think we should 
basically clean everything out except the slurk. That sleeping we'll slurk slide. Follow the left wall and keep going. Where's I'm looking just, for a map. I'm trying to mark everywhere where we haven't been yet so we don't lose track. And the do doorways we haven't gone through. Yeah, the blue doorways you haven't gone through. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Um, otherwise, you could put a sticky note in each room you haven't been to yet if you wanted to. I like the blue circles. Okay. That yeah. makes sense to me. Okay. Cool. And it shows us where we, where we haven't been. And then you remove the circles. Yeah. Um, looking at the maps and trying to judge the... Uh, judge what the keys might be for, the, the, the one with the book on it is... You got no clue. Um, you do believe the one with the lighthouse on it may be... Looking at the map, the, the cylindrical room in front of you, you may have something to do with it. Hmm. You're guessing that this room, which you have, as you've approached, realized that this is the tower, and actually you can see it. You can see the gauntlet coming from there. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to... Uh... Let's take a... Let, let's walk across the bridge carefully, slowly, one at a time. Um, no, the, no, the bridge is broken. The right? debris. Walk oh, yeah, through okay. the debris of the bridge. Fair. Because you broke um, it. Right. One at a time. Way to go, fat ass. Uh, it happens. <laughs> it happens. All right. I'll go I'll through. Go I'm lying. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, which way would you like to go is the question. I'll, I'll check the first door. Might as well do them in order. Check the first door. Yeah, I would say start from the left and work our way clockwise. So as you as you approach this door, um, oh, how dark is it? Do we have to be concerned about that now? Uh, there is a moonlit night. It's it is a bright moonlit night, so there's okay. moonlight shining through the open areas of the roof, which is most of it. Okay. Oh, well, there aren't there aren't roofs. I'll I'll let you know when it starts getting to a okay. point where you may need light. Uh, you open the. Hey, John, um, yes. would, would you allow me? Because so I have my cantrip is produce flame. Uh, mm -hmm. A small ball of flame appears in the palm of your hand. And and then it says, you know, and you lash out with either either at melee or at range. But if I just hold a ball of flame in my light hand, source. Yeah. 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 That could act like a torch if you just want to continually cast ball of flame and mm -hmm. use it as a torch. I'll allow mm -hmm. that. That makes sense. I feel like yeah. since it's a cantrip, I would have control over that source. And then if so you show something, you got. Yeah, and then weapon. you have something you can throw if you need to. Yeah, absolutely. That makes sense. Um, you open this door with little difficulty. Uh, looking into this room, uh, there's a collapsed wooden staircase in the northeastern corner. Um, it there is a moss shrouded hole um, that leads up to a moss shrouded hole uh, you can see out the left um, the wall is broken open and you can see out the building uh, it is collapsed in um, that west wall is collapsed into the room there is a dead frog near the staircase um that is missing its hind legs that seem to have been bitten off at the hips. Yikes. How large and, is this frog? Uh, the size of a horse. Holy shit. Yeah, That's it, a big it frog. is a huge ass frog. <clears throat> and it's a, it, it's a little disturbing. Um, the size of the mouth on whatever was biting out. I imagine Lady Sills probably the most upset because she loves her southern fried frog legs. Mm -mm. What a wine is. Kane, as you approach the, the frog, there is a sickening slurping sound as two massive maggots crawl out from this upper portion of 
the frog that is there. Um, make a nature check for me quick once. Uh, um, 16. 16. Yeah, something clearly bit the legs off the this. And... Uh, ah! <laughs> So you realize, A, something very, very large bit the hindquarters off of this frog. Um, these two massive maggots come rolling out of here. And we'll start next session with initiative. Awesome. Nice. Do the maggots have teeth? <clears throat> I mean, super uh, gross. They have, like, little thingy thingies. Can the maggots have bitten the legs off the frog? Uh, the, the legs are uh, no, no. The maggots would. <laughs> the maggot smells are too small to bite the legs off the frog. Okay, so these did not bite much larger than this. Yes, Fun. but everything's bigger in Otari. Yes, <laughs> everything's legal in Otari. Uh, mm. The shopkeeper definitely had the attitude. No, they're 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 nicer down there. They're just slow. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tom and Norman. Thing. Yeah, that was a fun fun tour around Otari. And, so, uh, it, was, it was a very productive uh, yeah. shopping episode. It allowed for some meeting of some people and some story, backstory of some of the people of Otari and Otari itself. You guys got yourself some maps. Mm-hmm. That was That's going to be good. Helpful. Nice work. Yeah, I feel uh, like it was a productive, uh, very productive uh, session. <laughs> All right, so we are two nerds on quest. We are here Sunday mornings, eight thirty eight Central Time. Join us at twitch.tv forward slash Tom M Norm T O M M N O R M. That's where all the magic happens, literally and figuratively. Not all. That's where all the magic gathers. If you want to support, the yeah. Well. God damn it, John. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if you want to support the yeah. show, patreon.com forward slash two nerds one quest. Uh, let other people know about the show. Uh, give us a little bit of love wherever it is that you want to give us some love, whether it's social media, uh, your friends, family, whoever. Um, we appreciate you showing up in chat, talking with us, uh, voting on show titles, which is coming up soon. Um, yeah, support the show. We have a lot of fun doing this, and we would like to continue doing this. So much. That being said, he's good stuff. Me for Rick, Gooch, genius. Maybe for John, Opeko. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh Caesar. <laughs> All right. Outro everybody. music. Nice work, John. Thanks a lot. <laughs> 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 And because you guys did, because you guys did cool. Roll.